Hello, Irena. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Sorry. No, it's okay. No worries. Thank you. How are oh, you today? I'm okay. Are you home? Yes, I'm arriving home. Almost uh, about 10 minutes ago. You arrived. Oh, okay. Wow. Why so late? You went out to eat? No, I left office about uh, 5... 5 30 mm -hmm. and i get home 10 minutes ago oh okay the traffic was murder really murder because of the rain it rained today yes well uh when i left office uh, there was raining i think for um, santa elena madre selva or something there but when I was um, almost uh, near my home at mm -hmm. Alta Vista, no, let me see, Soya Pango, it, it began to rain. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, man. It has a, did it rain hard? No, it was uh, a little bit soft, but uh, almost about. 20 minutes okay but there was a lot of rain okay yes and i was talking with a friend that uh about 20 minutes ago uh, mm -hmm. she was at boulevard venezuela mm -hmm. and she lives uh she lived office about uh 5 45. wow Yes, and she says that the traffic is very bad. Oh. It's I, hard. I really hate traffic. Yes, me too, teacher. I really hate that. But it that we have. <laughs> yes, we have no other option. Yes, and it's promised not to change. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's true. Every day increase. It's true. But okay, let me see. I'm opening up here everything. My internet is a, it's a little slow today. Really? Yes, my. But it's it's not raining at your home. You know what? Or now that we you? now that we mention it, it's starting to rain. Okay. I mean, I can hear the wind. The, the wind right now. Ah, okay. So yes, yeah, it started to rain a little. Yes. Hi, class. How is everyone today? How you doing? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Everything is okay. Hi, teacher. How are you? <laughs> Fine. Fine. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. How are you? Uh, nice, nice. Today was very, very interesting, but normally. Why? Why? What was interesting today? Interesting because uh, I have some business close. Oh, you close business? Yes. That's good. That's good news. The business or other news? N no, it's good news. Uh, that you the news, teacher, teacher, the news is bad news. The Barcelona loss. Uh, yeah. Was, was playing. Uh, what playing good but loss always yes it was yeah they, they deserve to lose today they didn't play yes yeah but for forget it teacher yes it's going to be very difficult in the next game yes 
But now it, it was a, a, a really exam, a good exam. True. Yes. But it doesn't matter. That's true. But, um, but, uh, oh well, it was a bad, it was a bad, terrible game. <laughs> All right, yeah. class. So, Remember yesterday we were doing I used to? What is what is I used to? When do we use I used to? I used to is when I remember the past two or more things. Exactly. One thing very important um, I want to tell you. Tomorrow there is no class. There tomorrow? is no class. Yes, there is no class tomorrow. Tomorrow, Wednesday, quite interesting. No, I'm so sorry. Thursday. It was on Thursday, Thursday, right? Oh, okay, Thursday. Thursday. Yes. The class will be on Friday. Friday. Okay. 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 Teacher, can I ask you sure. a question? Yes, I, please. I have problems with the section two. With the exercise 2.5, the listening. Okay, with maybe may, maybe we could do that today and tomorrow and Friday. What happens is that sometimes the platform is not working. Okay. Yeah, sometimes the platform doesn't work. The majority of the time, it doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> I, will. Uh, I also have problems, serious problems with the platform, especially in, in sections when you have to write something. And I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, no worries. We'll do them today. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe we'll try to do them today. Excuse me, teacher. Um, uh, a suggest is that you can make a copy paste. Yes, I will do that. Just change another word because for the periods and something like that, it it gives a, a an error. Yes, it's yeah. true. Yes, it's it's true because when you put the period or or another. Another uh, special mark or a special mm -hmm. if the page has a ground. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. Okay, no worries, then we'll do that. In my case, it's the same problem that the searcher said uh, when I have to write the sentences, the complete sentences, um, uh, wrong. It was wrong. The the, the answer, uh, for example, and two in two point five and two point a, I have problem in both. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll do them together, and I'll give you the answers. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Now let me share my screen with you. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, do you see my screen? No, yet. No. Not yet. No. Really? What about now? Yes. No, yes. No, yes. Okay. Thank you. It says, at this section, participants will be able to understand and use relative clauses and noun clauses in the same sentence. Let's see what is a relative and a noun clause. Not loading. Okay, ready? 
Yes, I'm ready. Yes. Okay, it's a little long, the video, so pay attention. And if you have questions, please tell me. Let's keep on talking about relative clauses. This time, they can occur in the subject or the object of the sentence. Stay around and listen to the explanation. Relative clauses and noun clauses. A relative clause can occur in the subject or the object of a sentence. Something that bugs me is people who take up two seats on a crowded bus. The thing that I can't stand is co-workers who leave their cell phones ringing on their desks. The thing I can't stand is co-workers that leave their cell phones ringing on their desks. Some sentences use a relative clause and a noun clause beginning with a question word such as when. The thing that I hate is when kids ride their scooters on the sidewalk. One thing that bothers me is when my friends don't show up on time for things. What is a relative clause or adjective clause? Relative or adjective clauses provide information about a noun or pronoun in either the subject or the object of a sentence. Relative clauses, use. Relative or adjective clauses give additional information about a noun in either the subject or the object of a sentence. They are dependent clauses. Relative clauses help connect two separate ideas. For example, that is the school. I went to that school as a boy. That is the school which I went to as a boy. Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns introduce relative clauses. Relative clauses tell us which person or thing the speaker means or refers to. Who is the subject, whom the object, meaning people. Which, whose, refers to things. That, instead of who, whom or which, where, when, and why, gives the reason why. They are relative adverbs. Remember, the pronoun refers to the same thing as the relative pronoun. Example, the students are smart. They are learning relative clauses. The students who are learning relative clauses are smart. Who is used instead of they? Let's go over this example. One thing that I hate is people who talk during a movie. One thing is the subject of the main clause. Leaving us with that I hate is the relative clause that describes the subject. Noun clauses. A noun clause is a sentence inside a sentence. A noun clause gives more detailed description of a subject or object of a sentence. Let's take a look at these words. They are noun clause markers or connectors. That, if, whether, wh words, how, what, when, where, which, who, whom, whose, why. Wh ever words, however, whatever, whenever, wherever, whichever, whoever, which is informal, and whomever, which is formal. We want you to note, except for that, noun clause markers cannot be omitted. Only that can be omitted, but it can be omitted only if it is not the first word in a sentence. Let's take a look at these sentences. Subject, noun clauses. Noun clauses are subjects of verbs. That George learned how to swim is a miracle. Whether Fred can get a better job is not certain. What Mary said confused her parents. However you learn to spell is okay with me. Notice the structure. Subject noun clause plus verb plus object. Object noun clauses. Noun clauses as objects of verbs. 
We didn't know the bill would jump. Can you tell me if Fred is here? I don't know where he is. George eats whatever is on his plate. Again, notice the structure. Subject plus a verb plus object noun clause. Read this sentence with me. One thing that bugs me is when people talk during a movie. Let's work with this sentence. There are two clauses in this sentence. The bugs me is a relative clause. And when people talk during a movie is a noun clause. Now type examples using relative clauses in the subject and in the object of a sentence. Clause. And when people talk Okay, let's practice this. Excuse me one minute. Thank you for waiting. Thank you. Okay. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry I had to go move everything because it started to rain hard. Okay, so I know this was confusing because it's a little long, but let's do one thing. <laughs> let's do this. Let me see. Look, what is a relative clause and a noun clause? A relative clause can occur when the subject or the or the object of a sentence. So it occurs it occurs in the subject or the object of a sentence. Something that bugs me, people who take up two seats in a crowd, the thing that okay, we'll, we'll practice that right now. So look, a relative clause, relative or adjective clause give additional information about a noun, either the subject or the sentence, they are dependent clauses. For example, um, a relative or adjective clause, so again, so give additional information. Let me give you an example, Messi plays in Paris Saint-Germain. That's normal information, correct? Yes. Now this is additional information. Messi, who is the best player in history, plays in Paris Saint-Germain. What is the additional information? 
It's the best player. It's the best player. player. The the best best player. player. Thank you. <laughs> yes. that, that would be a relative clause. That, that's what we're going to practice today, but let me see where are the examples. Okay, look, relative pronouns. Introduce relative clauses with, with uh, relative clause tells us which person thinks speaker means or refers to. Do you notice the difference between who and whom? Yes. What is the difference? Who is uh, from, uh, from one people and whom is for him? And? So the L? No. No, it's uh, whom is um, algo así como de quienes? No, I'm saying who. Who is quien? Yes. Y whom? A quien? Exactly. Who does the uh, uh, who does the action? Whom yes. receives the action? Yes. Alguna vez han escrito una carta que realmente no saben a quién se la escriben y simplemente terminan diciendo a quién? ¿Cómo empiezo? Corresponde. Interese. Interese. A, quien, a quien le interesa, a quien le corresponda. Así Who es en inglés. Is my concern. Yes. To whom in my concern. So that means whom will receive that letter. Yes. For example, we use who for people. Yes. Um, Marielos, tell me what type of people you like using who. What? Excuse me? Tell me the type of people you like using who. The type of people? Yes. Is that, excuse me, a singular person? I don't know. No, for example, no. I like people who... Oh, okay. I I like people who who is um, uh, quietly maybe. Excuse me. Repeat, please. Who is um, quiet, um, silent person maybe. So I like people. Who, okay, but listen. In this case, people is plural. So you okay, say people. I like people who are Who's, quiet. Okay, who who are okay who are quiet. Um, uh, who's and uh, whose people? Who's who, where do you when do you use? Who's? Oh, we will use it. Who's his possession? Okay. Whose okay. is the okay. possession of who? Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, um, Sergio Herrera, tell me you don't like people who what? I don't uh, like I don't like people who are um, um, who who say lies. Okay, I don't like people who lie. Ah, who lies? <laughs> okay, good. Now listen to this. I really, really hate people that don't use signals when they drive. Oh, I hate that. Yes. yes or no? Yes. Yes. It's like, oh my God, it's so easy to, know. <laughs> to put what? the light you know, what? left or right. Yes. yes. I really hate people who don't do that. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Let me see who is single here. Mm -hmm. Nelsie, are you single? Hello, teacher. Yes, I'm single. All right, good. Tell me, what are you looking for in a boy? So I want a man who... <laughs> I look for a boy uh, that can, that he can cook. <laughs> so I, I want a boy who can cook. Can cook. Uh, who can cook. 
And don't tell lies. Don't tell lies me. Don't, that's a lie. Don't betray. Uh -huh. Yes, don't betray me. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I don't know. Be to be uh, Try to be patient. To be carefully. I don't you know, know. You know what, Nancy? <laughs> you are describing me. <laughs> okay. But I'm married, so. No, very. Uh, no, I'm sorry. joking. <laughs> no, okay, very good. So I want, I'm looking, or I want a man who can cook, who doesn't lie, who will be loyal to me. Very good. Very good. All right. So we understand that part. I like, I don't like people who, correct? Okay. Okay. Mm. Next, let's do which. What is the difference between who and which? You use which, which is for, for things. 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 Things, yes. Who can give me an example? Irena, can you give me an example using which? Let me see. Okay, example, what type of cars do you like? Uh, I like uh, the big ones. No. I like the car which which color is black. Which color is black? Okay, good. All right. All right. What about you, Sara? What type of shoes do you like? Um, the people. No, like what type of shoes do you like? Um. Okay. Using which? Uh, which? Okay. I prefer. Um. I prefer tennis. Which um. With my with use which use. No, for example, I prefer shoes which have shoelaces, or I prefer shoes which have Velcro, or I prefer shoes which are, ¿cómo se llaman para meter? Pull-ins or pull-outs. Uh, okay, I prefer with, uh, I prefer shoes which, uh, which without, Shoelaces? Which don't have shoelaces. Okay, we don't have shoelaces. All right, good. All right, do you have any questions with relative clauses? Yes, when I use the who, whom, which, who's that, I don't understand. Because, okay, but you have to understand what is the difference between who and whom. Yes. What is the difference between who and whom? Okay. Who is whom is for people. And okay, yes, but what, what is the difference? Okay, who is in, in singular? No. No. I list I said, look, the difference is subject and object. Yes. Oh. The subject is whom who is whom is subject. No. Nope. Are you yes. are you, are you, are, you, are you looking at my screen? Yes. Who is for subject? Yes. And whom is object? Good. Okay, but that's the grammar explanation. But I want to know, do you understand what is the difference? What is the difference between who and whom? Mm. I, in this case, is my problem because I don't understand what it is. Okay, different. good. 
I, I, will, I will explain to you. One thing, let me tell you. Whom is not very common. It's not very common, but yes, people use it. Example, imagine I am a supervisor in a company. Correct, class? Do you understand me? Yes. 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 So, and you want a job with me. Imagine I am a strict supervisor. I would tell you, I don't like people whom I have to be on top of every minute. What is, top, do you understand up. what I said? What is yes. top up? In the, the top seven. off. And see, mother. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understood. So, yes. That, okay. That I, 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 oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, it was an expression. Okay. Yes. I, okay. So imagine I say, okay, you want to work with me? Okay. But I want you to understand one thing. I don't like people whom I have to be on top of every okay. single second. Wow. Yes. This is stressful. <laughs> this is stressful. Yes. When yeah. you are a boss and you have to be people like that, or guess whom I? Why is whom an object? Because it's the action. What is the no? Whom is not an action? Maybe because you you don't know exactly which people is. Mm -mm. No, you have to analyze who is the subject. Yeah. Who is the subject? Oh, the people. Listen, I'm going to give you my example again. I don't like people whom I have to be on top of every single second. The subject is the supervisor. Exactly. Okay. Yes, I top of. Yes, whom would be the object? Okay. Mm -hmm. Kind of confused, but I don't know. No. How do you say, but yes. whom is the people with in my like, I, I, exactly. I don't know how you say it. Yes, exactly. I mean, no es muy común lo que le dije de entrada a Sara. It's not very common to use whom. En muy pocas situaciones se usa whom. <laughs> Pero whom es a quién. But in Spanish, we use. See, whom. maybe you use more in Spanish than in English. Yes. Eh, I, creo que mujeres y hombres des, uh, dicen mucho eso dicho de a mí no me gusta ¿Quién? una pareja a quien que a quien hay que andarle rogando. <laughs> yes, remember that expression? Yes. yes. Who can say that in English? I don't like a couple whom I have to, I don't know how to say or begging. Beg, beg, begging. Beg. Okay, begging. <laughs> Good, exactly. <laughs> Yes, I don't like, I don't like, or or I don't want a couple whom I have to beg all the time. Please let me. <laughs> yes. Do you understand, Sara? Yes. Sara, guess who in Spanish? En una palabra, who? Who? Uh-huh. Who is Kim? Good. And whom? A king. Exactly. There you go. That is the difference. It's very little, but it's very big. Vaya, otro ejemplo. Hey, ¿A quién le tengo que dar mi incapacidad? <laughs> um. Yes, remember like when you start to work and it's your first time and you don't know, you say, to whom should I give the paperwork, the medical paper? Yes? Yes. 
Okay, now, who's? Who's? What is? A quien is. Ah, this is this is maybe a little difficult, but whose is the possessive of who? For example, listen to this. Me da asco. It makes me sick. Okay, con uno dice me da asco. The expression is it makes me sick. Make me sick. Men, men whose fingernails are long. Wow. Oh. Have you seen some men with long fingernails? Yes. Ooh, I don't like that. But listen to my expression. Men whose fingernails are long makes me sick. Did you understand could you, my expression? Could you repeat, yes. could you repeat please the first one sentence? Okay. Men whose fingernails are long makes me sick. No, but the second, but the but the first one it says it makes me sick, men who no. are well, the make me sick can go at the end or in, in, in the beginning because okay. it makes me sick men whose fingernails are long. Whose fingernails? Fingernails. One time I went to buy tortas by La Gabriela Mistral. And the man making tortas, all his fingernails were very long. They he uses like a knife. Yes, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking many things. Oh my god, with, with that nail, he cuts the tomato. Cut, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh man. I mean, but I, I paid him the and the tomato. Yeah, and I paid him. I said, uh no, to go, please, to go. I paid him, but I didn't eat it. I don't know, but the man, he was not dirty. He was not. He was clean. But I don't know. I didn't like the nails long. <laughs> but, you know. But but did you understand my expression? Yes. 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 Who, can, who can give me an example using whose? Bueno, ¿quién me puede decir eso en español? Men whose fingernails are long make me sick. Me dan asco, me dan asco los hombres con las uñas largas. Cuyas. O quienes tienen. Yo creo que ahí sería cuya o cuyo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Cuyas uñas son largas. Uh -huh. Y eso a veces me cae mal porque a veces tengo amigos que no hablan español y me dicen, hey David, ¿qué es cuyo? <laughs> y me quedo like, yeah, and you know, I, I don't know how to explain that. I, I can give them an example, but I don't understand how to explain them. Hasta que yo veo it, who's. Y me quedo, oh, yes. Es who's. <laughs> well, la versión en inglés. Hmm. Yes, hombres cuyas uñas son largas me dan asco. Eso dije. Yes. Uh, men whose fingernails are long make me sick. Who can give me a different example? It's not, necessar uh, not necessarily something negative. It can be something positive. Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, you are the man who is my English teacher. But there's no possession right there. Mm. I want one with whose. Mommy, I found something about cuyo and cuya and there uh -huh. is an example in spanish it says okay. uh, has a big quantity no a big photograph quantity whose negatives keeps carefully in a box is correct whose negatives are kept are kept mm -hmm. carefully in a box yes 
Um, let me give you another example. Well, it's a verdadero. Yesterday, I, I was reading the um, the director of Vamos Arevalo something. Did you read that he's arrested? No. Yes. Okay, I yeah. I don't yeah, I it's do. some politician. I don't know, but he's arrested because of um, sexual assault. Yes. So mm -hmm. I was reading, I was reading and it said for sexually aggressing a person whose identity is kept secret. Mm -hmm. Y literalmente sí, eso fue un ejemplo, así decía, cuya identidad está guardada. That would be whose. An example, my wife has a dog whose tongue is purple. Hey, yes, excellent. My wife has a dog whose tongue is purple. What, what mm -hmm. breed is that dog? It's husky, no? Yes. Chow chow. Chow chow, or, yeah. Hey, that's a good, good example. My wife has a dog whose tongue is purple. Teacher, right. yes. another example. I like people whose a good education. Okay. No. No, it's not correct, Milton, because remember, whose is a possession? And you are saying, I like people who are educated. Who are, who are, okay, who are. Yes, but um, whose is cuyas, cuyos, okay. Me puede decir, me gustan las personas cuyos principios son cristianos. Could you say that in English? I like people whose um, principles, principles. Who have no uh, principles. Whose principles, Christians are Christian. Are Christian. Are Christian. Good. Yes, that's a very good example. I like people. Okay, so listen to this, Milton. There's a difference here. I like people who are Christian. That's a subject. <laughs> Or I like people whose principles are Christian. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Uh, another example. Mm, it could be, I don't know whose toy this is. Exactly. Oh, man. Very sad. I don't know whose toy is this. No sé de quién es este juguete. Like, for example, cuando se pierde algo en la oficina, nunca han dicho, hey, ¿de quién es esto? Mm -hmm. Hey, whose who's alcohol is this? What do you think, uh, what do you think about my example? I hate the people who are listening to no. music. No. No. No, no, I'm sorry. And I stopped you because I, I hate people who listen to reggaeton music. Because it's subject. Yes. Okay. Vaya, pero y si, usted, y si usted quiere decir, yo no podría salir con un hombre cuyos gustos musicales es el reggaeton. Ahí, sí. Mm. Can you tell me that? Okay. Hablar de I... reggaetón y tiene reggaetón al fondo. Ya lo vi. No. <laughs> no Dice pica okay. pica. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so tell me. Okay, I I hate 
No, I can't. Uh, I can have a day. I want them. Who's a man? No. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Who's a man? Uh, are listen. No. Okay, we're close. We're close. I can't date a man. Repeat. I can't date a man. Whose who? favorite music? Who whose favorite music? Is reggaeton. Uh, is reggaeton. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Um. My, let me see who has not spoken today. JJ. Fine, I'm here. How are you, JJ? Fine, I'm fine. JJ, you have a daughter, correct? Yes. What what kind of boy would you like for your daughter? What the principles? Um um I would like um kind of boyfriend for my daughter the the uh, whom who's? be honest whom who's be honest okay so whose feelings are real okay but uh why not um, because be well, okay honest Yes. Because let me explain to you one more time. Who and whose is a very big difference. Who does an action? I don't like women who smoke. I don't like people who drink. I don't like people who party all night. I like people who are happy. Ya me han entendido que es who. Who do an action? Okay, in this case, it could be that uh, cool values. Who, uh, whose who, values? Whose, whose values? Who's um, um, honest in this case? No, in this case, it would be, I want a boy for my daughter who is honest, who is tall, who is short, who is ugly who is handsome who is rich but do you understand what i say who who yes in an action right but in this case is no es quien es cuyo yes. algo que le pertenece a who so in your case i i want a a boy for my daughter who's y después de who's tiene que la posesión whose feelings oh, okay sentimiento whose feelings uh -huh. Cuyos sentimientos son reales. Whose feelings or cuyos in, whose intentions are real. Or true. <laughs> or true. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, sale más fácil que es que ser un novio para mi hija que tenga buenas intenciones. <laughs> es más fácil. I want a boyfriend for my daughter who has good intention. Pero si queremos ser whose. I want, a, I want a boyfriend for my daughter whose intentions are good. Yes? Yes. Well, I yes. think this topic is pretty hard because in Spanish, in, uh, sorry, in Spanish, I don't use whose and whom. No, yes, you do. You do use whom and whose. The yeah, only thing because... that in Spanish, maybe there's three different ways to saying it. In English, there's only one. Um... Sure, because when I speak with uh, some people, I, but... I don't use tools. Okay, but you, but you see the problem, Sarah, is maybe... You, if you do not understand the difference between who and whom and whose, 
it will be difficult. Yeah, because whose is the possession and who is a subject and whom is when I use a, or when I speak about objects. Okay, good. Si esto fuera un examen, me saco un diez. En teoría. What about in practice? Mm -hmm. Uh, I like yeah. that. I like that. Who is but the subject? Is Whom is the object? Whose is the possession? Oh, good. And yes. Now practice it. That's the most important part. Yes. Um, For example, I I can't go. I can't uh, speak with uh with the people who's who's uh who's speak about me no uh, maybe, maybe who's you don't have to use a verb uh, after who's you yes, I mean, that, that's, okay. yes, that's what I'm explaining to you. If you do not, you see, Sara, usted me dijo, who is subject, who is object, uh, and who's his possession? Very good, pero me lo está diciendo mal ahorita. Yes, there's a difference de lo teórico a lo práctico. <laughs> that's why we, we need to practice. Vamos a hacerlo fácil otra vez. Le voy a dar dos ejemplos con who, con whom, y con who's. Voy a intentar usar los mismos oraciones. Who? I don't like people who are I don't like people who are extreme No, let me see Who are false no, no, I want to give you one, one example. Okay, let's let's talk about politics. I don't like people who are communist. <laughs> example, yes? Do you understand? But it's communist. Yes. Comunistas. Yes. Ah, okay. So I don't like people. Oigan esto. Esto es un ejemplo, okay? Uh. Yes. <laughs> I don't like people who are communist. ¿Qué dije? No me gustan las personas comunistas. ¿Qué no me gustan las personas comunistas? ¿Qué son comunistas? ¿Qué son comunistas? Okay, good. That's who. Who's, hoy lo quiero usar esa misma oración usando who's. ¿Cómo puedo usar usando eso who's? I don't like people whose political ideology is Communist. communism. Communism. ¿Qué dije? No me gusta las no personas gusta cuyos la principios o ideales políticos cuyo es, ideal político es uh, com uh -huh. son comunista. comunista. So, political ideology is the possession of who? Yeah. So I don't like people whose political ideology is communism. Did you understand that, class? Yes. 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 Yeah, I don't like people who like Oh, example, I don't like women who drink and smoke always. I don't like women who drink and smoke. No me gusta una mujer. Listen my example. Uh huh. Yes. Que fuma y toma todo el tiempo. 
I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I hear music. Okay, now I hear you. Yes, <laughs> sorry. That's okay. No me gustan las mujeres que fuman y toman todo el tiempo. Okay, good, yeah. Y eso es lo que voy, Sara. Lastimosamente en español, who, esa se puede decir entre diferentes formas. Ay, Nelsie lo dijo una. No me gustan las mujeres que fuman y toman todo el tiempo. No me gustan las mujeres quienes fuman y toman. O no me gustan las mujeres cuáles fuman y toman. I don't know. In Spanish, it's very difficult. In English, it's only one. Yes. Ahora, I don't like women whose habits are drinking and smoking. What did I say now? I don't like women whose habits are drinking and smoking. No me gusta la no me gusta las mujeres cuyos hábitos es fumar y tomar. Son fumar y tomar, yes. Uh -huh. Ahora sí soy más raro lo que dije al de, en español soy raro, pero es correct. O sea, sí se usan los dos para que vea. <laughs> Ahora eh, Katia, hi. Are you there in Cusco? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, good. Let me see. Listen to this. I'm going to give you an example with who, and you try to give me the same example with whom. Mm, okay. I don't... Wait, no. I like people. I like dates. Citas, I like dates. Mm -hmm. Where we talk. With no music. No, but there's no possession. No, no, no let, let me change. I like, I like people who like art. Mm -hmm. I like people who like art and books. Do you understand, class? Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you give me that example, maybe with a possession? Possession whose? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Okay. No, wait, let's try Kathy first. Kathy first. Okay. I, I will give everybody an example. Okay. L example like yours. M my example, yes. Imagine, okay. ¿cómo puede hacer okay. ese ejemplo usando whose? Okay. I like people whose um, like whose. <laughs> Or whose interests? Who, whose interests are la, uh, arts and books? Mm, are books and or books? Arts, arts mm -hmm. and books. Okay, art and books. Very good. Can you repeat, please? Okay, I like people whose inter interest interests interest are um, art, arts and books. Very good. Es más fácil decir, I like people who like <laughs> arts and books, yes. or I can yes. be a little more sophisticated and say, I like people whose interests are arts and books. Okay, teacher. Very good, but like I said, it's more popular to speak only who, pero si sí se usa whose. De hecho, piénsenlo, si mañana van a usar un, posesi un posesivo cuyo, a quienes, a cuáles, ese es un whom. Y si lo usan, anótenlo y piensen cómo se diría eso en inglés. Entonces, en pocas palabras, who's no hace acción y no lleva verbo después. Después de who's va la posesión. Yes. Gente, 
cuyas cualidades, oh, un ejemplo, se busca personal cuyas características son, etcétera, 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 etcétera. Yes. We're looking for personnel whose quality is this, 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 this. Yes. Si se llegan a topar con algo así, please escríbanlo y lo hacemos en clase. Teacher. Yes, Milton. Another example is good is if I say, I don't know who's, who this wallet. I don't know whose wallet is this. Whose wallet is this? Yes. Okay. Because the question. Mm -hmm. Hey, pasó un error en, en, la, en, la, en la empresa. ¿De quién es la culpa? Whose fault is it? Ya yes, es como, por ejemplo, lo, lo que le pasó a esta empresa de. de ¿Cómo era de San Jacks? ¿Se acuerdan? Yes. Eh, que tiró toda esa cosa al río. Metieron preso al gerente y la gente, hey, pero no fue culpa de él. Yes. O sea, él quizás no lo hizo directamente, pero. Si uno legalmente quizás pueden decir, whose fault is it? Es el general manager, porque he's a general manager. Yeah. Tenía que estar al tanto o saber de eso. Or he ordered it. Uh -huh. Or maybe he ordered it, que es more probably. <laughs> But, you know. Okay, so, si ven algo así mañana, anoten and remember me. Okay. 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 I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Tomorrow. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.